वेलकम बैक टू ऑल माई लिस्नर्स दिस इज सी द सोल द ट्रूथ लाइज विद इन जब तक हम सच्चाई के साथ में नहीं मिलेंगे तब तक हमारे मन में शांति नहीं आएगी तो ये एक ऐसा चैनल है जहां पर केवल आपके साथ में सत्य ही कहा जाएगा बिकॉज सत्य केवल एक है द ट्रूथ इज गॉड एंड गॉड ओनली गिव द ट्रूथ नाउ ओवर हियर आई गॉट अ गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड मिस्टर गौरव ओझा ही इज एक्चुअली अ टीचर इन दिस प्रोफेशन He is teaching for an NGO school, and he is taking care of the kids right now during this pandemic. Also, I believe, Gorab, that you are taking care of the kids right now from your home, and you are teaching them through your Zoom calls or whatever way medium you are using right now. That's a beautiful service which you are doing. But over here, we have come over here, Gorab, to talk about the service or to talk about the knowledge, which is the spiritual knowledge. And since you have been there in spirituality for the couple of uh, years, more than fifteen years, as I've known, so at this hour. people like you and people who are into meditation i even i practice meditation so i believe i have opened up this channel so as to bring about a lot of people on this channel who can share the vision who can share the ideas who can share their thoughts and let us reach out to as many people and share what exactly is the way today on this platform the way to bring about stability of the mind so you know what is going on around in the world and what are your thoughts about the stability aspect seeing the condition of the world right now well we are blessed that i found a baba that is god right okay so he is guiding us through his murales who is okay and while meditating he guides us by giving positive thoughts Right. And based on that, by churning those thoughts, by churning those thoughts, we get a lot of power. Beautiful. And we come to know, and we come to face to face this situation. We are facing this situation thanks to the power of his knowledge that we are able to face is face the situation which we are we all are facing. Right. So Baba is only saying that no matter what happens, ultimately it's me. Come to me. Come to me. Surrender to me. right and that's it that yes, is the yes. only solution uh, that is the need of the time is the only solution is come to me exactly because i believe that uh, as you said two words i caught over here one is power which is very very important and the second thing which you mentioned as murli now uh, let me share it with our listeners over here that uh, the word murli we might think it's like a flute so the word murli actually means the divine knowledge which when you listen to it sounds like a beautiful tune to the soul and it soothes your heart also so we generally think that murli is a way of listening to music and we can only make our mind peaceful through any form of music but this is a divine knowledge in a beautiful rhythm such and such a rhythm that it makes your mind peaceful and when we say baba over here we are obviously as gorav said we addressing to the supreme god father the supreme being who is the father of all souls irrespective of which country which caste which religion or which ethnicity or which culture do you come from so here you as you said rightly gorav that uh, you know we need power so the power is not the power of money right now because you see pandemic or the corona virus is not looking at whether somebody is rich or poor it is affecting everybody so many people have realized that this is not the power of money or the post or the position which is going to protect them there is another power which is a spiritual power over here which we are talking about actually we trying to get this message across that there is a spiritual power which can be attained while connecting to god father over here now in spirituality we realize that we have a direct connection with the supreme father the first thing which we learn which we learn in uh, uh, meditation on the raj yoga which you are mentioning because it's not is the method the is me- method is, is the method is realizing the that the proper method by which oh. yeah it's a proper method in which we realize that we are actually souls mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. are different from this physical body and mm-hmm. the because because in one 10 minutes time we cannot tell you the whole thing it's a matter of realization and that it cannot be explained in a 10 minute or a half an hour cycle it's very difficult right 
So, the only thing we can do it is we have to go to an experienced teacher over there who can really tell you to the correct method because it does, this doesn't happen in one day. Right. It takes a lot of time. Right. But if you are a good because first of all you have to bring about your consciousness, the consciousness which we all are in the body consciousness. Because of this body consciousness, everybody is feeling is is is, uh, is uh, scared is dar. You know, people are scared that I might die, you die. So what is actually that? So if we go into, if we know that, if we go and get the proper knowledge, we can come to know that no, it is I cannot die. I'm. It is the body which dies. Exactly. I'm not this body, right. but I reside in this body. Right. So this knowledge is very very important. It's from becoming body conscious to soul conscious, it takes a lots and lots and lots and lots of time. So it's not a. Baba calls it Masi Yaghar. It's not an. It's not Masi Yaghar to become soul conscious in a fraction of a second or one second. Right. It really takes a lot of lots and lots of time. Right. But for our viewers, so, we can we can talk about just one simple thing, like uh, one reason why stability goes away is the fear factor. So the first thing, most important thing is that is the body conscious is due to the body consciousness. Right. That as you as you said, thing. that uh, the the body dies, but I the soul I don't die. Now, if we remove, if we talk about just this one small area over here, and even if we just accept the small area, then we'll realize that okay, if I am a soul and I am the child of God the Father, who's also bodiless, he's also a soul, and there is a drama which is going on. Supreme soul. Supreme soul. There's a drama which is going on in this world, and this drama has brought about a situation in front of us. where we are facing our karmas where we are facing the exactly. issues yeah. where we are facing the issues which we have done whether we have done a good karma with the five elements or not in our past so whether we have done good karmas with the animals also not just human beings whether we have done good karmas in the third level with the human beings so i realize that we have actually done certain karmas which we are facing so people who are getting affected by the virus are those who have not had a pure consciousness while they were doing a karma so the first thing which they can do right now to stabilize their mind i believe is is to start praying for the five elements purity is to start exactly. sending good vibrations start sending powerful vibrations to even the animal souls and this can only and this can only take place when we are soul conscious exactly this can only take place only when we are soul conscious because the moment we think that we are not soul conscious but the moment we think that we are body so all the fears from the body will start coming right that right that is the first fear which comes in that is the most important and many have seen the people panicking when you go out in the market i can see people have there is a panic in the whole system right no matter even if you go to the news also people they are the reporters and all that they are so panic in the state and the state of panic right because they are losing their dear and their near and dear ones exactly so let's let's uh, uh, focus on uh, one very important thing a very few certain affirmations which uh, our listeners can actually use right now so as to feel that yeah. yes death is something which doesn't come to the soul but it comes to the body So exactly. So let's let's use certain affirmations which actually can help out our listeners. Let's say the first affirmation which I used for myself when I came into the spiritual knowledge was that I am a being, I am an energy. At this point of time, I am thinking pure thoughts towards everybody around me because purity is something which gives us protection. I being a soul I have got no distinction towards any race, any caste, any creed. I being a soul, I also love all the animal souls in the world. And I being a soul, I have a duty of being in love with the supreme being who's the protector of all the souls in this world, who's the protector of all my family members in this world. and the family members being all the people on this earth and exactly that's what i wanted to tell you because many people will think that when i say talk about family members they will think about only their bodily family exactly. and their relatives exactly but out here we have we live in a culture of 
Vasudeva Kutumbakam in which we say each and every individual on earth is my family. This whole world is my family. So what is happening is that we can have a nice good wishes for my family members which means each and every soul right. whether you are in the India or whether you are in some different place whether you are in America or whether it be our neighbors. Exactly. They are all our brothers. And that is something which actually is an aura of protection around us when we pray for the exactly. world, when we are having good wishes, when we have love for every soul on this earth, even for people who are non-vegetarians over here. I would suggest that if they are non-vegetarians or the listeners, I would suggest that if you generate a form of love for every soul, then it involves even the animal souls. So if we generate exactly. a form of exactly. love for animal souls, then it's also creating an aura, it's strengthening our aura of protection and believe me or not, virus only affects you or virus can only affect you when your aura is weak, that means when we are in fear. So the way to remove fear is to pray for the whole world, that increases or improves our vibration levels exactly, so exactly. much so. In the, in, in the technical language, many people call it the immunity. Exactly. The bodily immunity. We can say that. We can say that this aura can be called. You can call it the spiritual immunity. It's a beautifully beautiful beautiful word used actually, Gaurav. It is a spiritual immunity which increases. And in one of my videos, I've even spoken about how our cortisol levels also are affected by our emotions. You can go and check out that video about how thoughts affect your health. Now, continuing over here, Gaurav. Let's have another one or two uh -huh. minutes more to go over here. Uh, we were talking about affirmations. So what another affirmation or other affirmation which you think which we can use which will make us get connected to ourselves because prayer is one form of connecting to the self by praying for everybody. Uh, let me let me let me make let me make it one thing clearly. Prayer means I'm asking. Prayer means I'm begging. Okay. But when I say meditation, meditation means like it's I'm standing just like in uh, I'm just standing in front of a fire. I don't have to beg for the, the fire to come and give me the warmth. When you stand in front of the fire, automatically the, the warmth is coming up, coming to you. Right. So in the same way, when we stand, when we stand in front of God, Upavas, that is to stay near God, we don't have to ask for anything. It right. just comes out automatically. Whatever you need, it comes to you. Right. So, that, so for the only formations for the beginners, we may say that yes, I'm a peaceful soul, let peace come to me, let peace come to me. And ultimately you can see that ultimately when your mind stabilizes, you will see that you will start feeling peaceful. Beautiful. But beautiful. the moment we'll start thinking of body, body consciousness, we start, again we go into panic mode. Beautiful. So that beautiful. way we have to stop ourselves from panic, right. getting panicked. And because of this panic only people become what is called a restlessness and because of this there is so called peacelessness in this society, in this world. Beautiful. Thank you, Gaurav. Thank you so much for this session today. And uh, I believe we're going to yeah. expand this even further more in the next session about soul consciousness and how soul consciousness and affirmations and the right form of meditation, as you said, stand in front of the fire, stand in front of the complete volcano, which is God is giving us the complete heat of love and peace. And when we stand in front of it, automatically it radiates through us to all the other people around and in that way only we can actually help the whole world and keep ourselves protected and keep the world protected. So thank you Gaurav for coming over. Let's see you in the next episode then very soon. Okay, thank you.